welcome to Vlogmas week three. I hope you have enjoyed your week. Um, it is Wednesday today. If you're wondering, I'm taking off a couple of days midweek, partly because my weekly routine at work is so repetitive and boring, you don't need to see it every day. But also I need some time to edit and upload these. So you'll be seeing like the start of the week and the end of the week generally. So it's Wednesday today, um, midweek. Everyone is very much winding down for Christmas, which is very enjoyable. So work is getting pretty chilled, I would say, for me anyway. Tonight we, <laughs> I feel like it's a very big deal. It's something that I've been very excited to do and been really, really wanting to do for like months and months and months. Basically since, well, no, years. It's one of those cheesy wheel pasta restaurants as in they make the pasta for you in the cheese wheel. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. So we're going to a place called Tomasino's in Mount Lawley with a couple of friends and I'm gonna have an Aperol spritz, I'm gonna have my cheesy pasta. We're gonna walk there in the sunshine because it is still like 30 degrees and lovely. And I just can't wait, life is very good. So I will see you at the restaurant. <laughs> from what was an absolutely lovely night with friends um that cheesy pasta was incredible like genuinely one of the most delicious things i've eaten in a long time i would say though um and i do hate to be a negative nancy but the service was shocking <laughs> um like i could have quite happily had i reckon i could have had two servings of the cheesy pasta and a pizza and tiramisu but they just didn't come back to like check on us or yeah take any dessert orders or anything which is such a shame because they could have got more money out of me but whatever um it was still really nice we then went to the Beaufort um bar place that we went to last week um had another Aperol spritz there which was really nice such a nice vibe there um and then got a taxi home and now I am going to bed and Tomorrow morning, I have to get up early to go for a medical appointment. Fun. Um, so yeah, I'll see you there. Night. Good morning. Um, I'm on my way to a appointment now. I'm actually going for, so a couple of weeks ago, I went to go do a skin check um, at, it's called Mole Patrol. It's very, very cute. Um, which is something which they very highly recommend that all people living in Australia do because the UV is so high, so much sun exposure, etc, etc. And I'm 99% sure it's free with Medicare, so well worth doing. So I did that a couple of weeks ago and there were a couple of moles which were just a little bit suspicious looking. So one of them I'm keeping an eye on, but I think next year it's on my shoulder so I'm going to obviously make sure that I'm like sun creaming well and trying to keep it covered where possible but then also next year after the wedding I'm going to get that off I just don't want it before the wedding um because during the week I don't want the scar and stuff I know that's very shallow but <laughs> here we are um uh, weddings are shallow aren't they so there was um one on my thigh which at the time of the skin check looked a little bit dodgy um, since I've been keeping an eye on it in the last couple of weeks, it looks completely fine and just like a freckle, but just to, it's not worth the risk. So I'm getting that chopped off and biopsied today and then I'm going into work. All done. And that was literally, I would say five minutes, less than, um, and the actual procedure is literally like 10 seconds. It was completely painless, super quick. Um, so now I'm just waiting for the results. Hello, good evening. Um, it is chaos here. Um, we've got the little vacuum cleaner roaming around, so it's a bit noisy, sorry. Um, we are having friends round tomorrow night for dinner. 
which is very exciting and I feel like it's very Christmassy and we don't often do like and we don't often do like hosting these type things he's gonna stand on my leg um so yeah really excited to have people over only thing is that it means that like tonight we are it's chaos trying to get the house looking nice food prep so that it's a bit less stressful tomorrow but yeah I'm really really excited for it actually so I'm gonna get on with making the um feta now So went into the city first thing, um, always quite nice to pop into the city, especially because we used to live there my mother. Did my little site visit, site measure, um, and then got myself a coffee and on the train on my way to work. Friday today, so I should hopefully be, I feel like everyone on emails, like my job is mostly emails and calls and it's got so quiet on those, so I can actually get some like proper work done and like catch up. But it, there is that feeling in the air, I was saying yesterday. It's so like, so funny. In the UK, I found there was a massive, um, like the few days before the summer holidays. This is talking like school time, but like a few days before uh, summer holidays, you've got that like frenzy. Um, and then the like week or two before Christmas, you get that frenzy. Here, it's like both wrapped in one. So you get two weeks off. Well, we get two weeks off for Christmas. Um, and it's like 30 degrees and it's, yeah, difficult to concentrate to say the least. Um, but it's, it's good vibes, it's good vibes. It's like end of the year wrapping up, um, chilling, but also, I don't know, it feels a bit more of like a creative time of year maybe. Um, so yeah, it should be a nice day. I'll probably catch up with you later for Friday drinks and then I need to dash back into the city go to Maya because we've realised we're having people over to tonight we don't actually have any like serving plates we don't have enough plates like dinner plates so I'm gonna dash into Maya and do a bit of a grab of everything I can find um, and then yeah we're going to the Hey gang, it is very stressful, so I'm gonna keep it very brief, but we are assembling slash cooking slash chaos. Um, this, ignore the dirty um, sink behind us, is the whipped feta. So um, I had a pal from work bring me some um, fresh dill. So, and I got this really cute plate. I'm gonna do it like that. The peaches are in there, just grilling. Um, we've got that on there for baba ganoush. Um, we're about to prepare the roux. Jake's got some falafels on the go as well. That was everything, right? Yeah, I, think, very much. I think that'll do, to be honest. Hey? Okay. Yeah, I talked about the beach. Little peach. Everyone has arrived. The apple spritz are a go go. The food is very much not. But thankfully, we've got very, um, very good guests who have just set themselves up outside, which is. Great, sublime it means that I get to prepare in this hot, hot kitchen um, in peace, which is great. Gang is going swimmingly. We've got Jake on capsicum duty. We've got falafels are frying. Yeah, bell peppers for the English. The um, meat is tasty, and I'm doing the baba ganoush now, which is pretty much ready. We've got Oh, oh no, the burnt, the peach, the burnt were crisp. We'll say they're char grilled. They're a bit much. To be fair, right. yeah, they look all right. Ooh. Yummy. So we'll be putting those on top of the um, whipped feta with these either side. Yum. Right, I need to start on salad duty and then flatbread duty. Hi.
guys, what a bloody shocker. <laughs> Yesterday did not go to plan. Um, and you might be thinking, why cat? The dinner party looked grand. Yes, that was the day before yesterday. Um, so yesterday was Saturday, the day after the dinner party. And oh my God, I was poorly. I literally had like five or six glasses of wine, which isn't heaps, I don't think. And had a full meal of beautiful food. Um, and yeah, it just went tits up. I was so hungover. It is a joke. I mean, I get this hungover quite regularly. I just genuinely cannot handle alcohol. <laughs> it's so annoying. I will never learn. Um, so yeah, yesterday I was throwing up and sleeping literally all day which is fine, I can deal with that, it's my own stupid fault, but it meant that I had to cancel plans that I was so excited for. So we were supposed to go to the Moonlit Cinema, which is like an outdoor cinema in Kings Park. You go there, you have a picnic at sunset, and then at sundown the film starts and we were gonna watch Home Alone and we were supposed to be going with friends and I was so excited for it. It was gonna be like, because we've not done that many like super festive activities. And I feel like that was going to feel like festivity, but in Australia mode. And oh, I had to cancel because I literally threw up like five minutes before we were supposed to leave. So sadly, I'm very sorry to Heather and Will if you're watching this. Um, I suck. <laughs> and I really hope you had fun without us. Like, thankfully, they still went. But yeah, it was shit. But yeah, today is a new day. Um, I'm up. I literally woke up at like 6 a.m. because I've been sleeping since like. 3 p.m. yesterday with a couple of naps before then as well. So I'm sitting down now with a coffee and some rehydration salts and to um, edit the first half of this week's Vlogmas. And then later on, I'm gonna muster up the energy. I think I need a big fake egg spot. Um, and then I'll muster up the energy to go shopping and do Christmas shopping, because that was what I was supposed to do yesterday. And then I've got a heap of visa stuff to do because we've got, we're doing, as I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago, we're doing um, the next visa application, um, which requires a silly amount of docs. So I've got to go through and start doing a bit of that. Jake's been doing a lot of it, but I need to pick up my slack on those bits and contribute a bit more. So yeah, should be a busy day. Thankfully I'm up early and feeling a lot better. So let's get editing. Hello. I've been on operation make myself spruced um so I've washed my hair I did wash it yesterday but I went straight to bed with it wet so I've just air wrapped my hair but can I just show you this is it air wrapped how I usually have it curly is just with heatless curls and I feel like it looks so much nicer when I do that but I can't do that on demand like I have to sleep with them in the curls but this just looks so like I don't know, that side looks better, but it just doesn't hold. But anyway, um, I'm dressed, I'm like moisturised, I thought I'd put on these lovely patches to match the green in my shirt. <laughs> um, no, these are amazing. I keep these in the fridge, they're the pixie ones, keep them in the fridge and I put them on and I was like, ah, my soul is cleansed. Um, it's probably due to take them off now, but I just love them. Um, and now I am going to go downstairs and start on the visa stuff. But yeah, let's go and be productive. Oh guys, this is um, <laughs> a lot of effort. So we are applying for our next visa, which is a longer term one. Just gives us a lot more flexibility for moving back and forth. So I am like filling in. So Jake's printing out the form at work and then I'll need to fill it in by hand because apparently the website is so shit that it just loses it every time, um, which is just great news. So I'm going through what is on the form and trying to collate the information. And oh boy, if you have to do this, it is ridiculous. So I've already got my employment history and my best advice to you, if you are doing a temporary visa, or like a one year visa or a two year visa and you're ever going to then apply for a permanent visa or like a longer term one or just ever if you know that you're going to do a visa again the first time you do this save it all in a word document like don't just do it on the website and then submit it and then never see it again because you are going to need that information again it's so frustrating so 
employment history from now till when you were born, address history from now until you were born, international movement history from now till you were born. So, sorry, no, if you travel to any other country other than Australia in the last 10 years. Now, I shouldn't say thank God for COVID, but thank God for COVID that meant that we didn't travel for a year because before then we would literally go abroad like two, three times a year, like on little European city breaks and things. So I'm now gonna go through all of my emails, Instagram, Facebook posts, WhatsApps, everything to try to find, like jog my memory of where I went and for how long, because I need to know the dates, where you went, the reason for the visit. Oh, it's a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going through this now. Oh, and they want education as well. A lot of it, like, it's, it's easy enough to find or remember. And I think I'm lucky in that I'm young. Like, if it was your address history from forever and you're, like, 50, that's a heap. Especially if you've moved around a lot. Yeah, at least I'm doing the due diligence. Uh, let me settle back into this. I'm all visaed out. I think, to be fair, I've pretty much nailed it. Um, I've like prepared a Word document which I've then saved in case these questions ever come up again because I don't want to have to go back through again. Um, but yeah, the trick is be a little social media so-and-so <laughs> like me and post every single holiday because I literally just scroll back through. There was only, I think, two trips. One of them was a work trip and one of them was like a family holiday that I didn't um take photos of but then found it in my email history so nailed it i think um now i'm just pottering around the kitchen a bit we've got all of our new crockery so i'll show you my new plates let me hop up and show you oh this isn't gonna be i'll get them down one sec yeah don't know if anyone cares about this but got this beautiful plate this one's robert gordon uh actually they're both robert gordon i love it i really like the fact that it's got a little stand so it sits higher up than the other plates it just it actually makes it so much easier for when you're hosting and you've got loads of plates because then they can kind of like sit above everyone else's like dining plates a little bit gorgeous um and then I've got this one as well which is so cute they all, also had it in a gray and a green a gray online which is what i wanted because i don't know if the pink will always go but i think it looks quite cute so that one's also robert gordon love that we are finally fully stocked with plates. I managed to get the same style. These were our original ones, but they're a grey tone. These ones are from Kmart, I think, um, just plate bowls. And then I've got a lighter colour uh, plate, but the same like brand. I actually don't mind that they mix and match at all. Um, and then we've also got these noodle bowls, which Trent and Izzy slash just Trent, can't remember. I feel like they comes up here. They got us these beautiful um, noodle bowls, also from Robert Gordon. And then I have this plate as well up here, which was from Maya, um, from Jenna and Harry. So we are creating, oh, and then we've also got, whilst I'm here, I'll show you, this marble, it's actually a spinning plate. So it's really good for like cheese boards and things. That was from Jenna and Harry. This cute little um, jug from Trent and Izzy, or just Trent, same, same. Uh, and then this, which was to me, from me, but via Jake as a birthday present, um, as a little jug. And they just set up in this little niche. Now, whilst I wait for Jake to be back, he's going to be back in about 20 minutes, I'm going to chop up and freeze these herbs, which my friend from work gave me. We also have these, which I think I will do the same with, because... They just wilt so quickly here. Which reminds me, I have this hilarious herb garden out here, which just cannot stay alive. The parsley's doing okay for now, but rosemary is burnt to a crisp. Parsley there is burnt to a crisp. Jesus. Sorry, I had to run in there because my feet started burning. It is hot outside. I'm kind of kicking myself for not having gone to the beach and like chilled with a book. Um, I'm hoping I get a chance to do that when we break up for Christmas because it is a beautiful day, but admin took precedence here, sad. All right, I've just arrived at Karen Up and I'm dreading this. I think it's gonna be really, really hot and busy. Oh dear. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Hello, 
know so mission partially accomplished i think um i've got pretty much everything that was on my list it's just that my list was quite small <laughs> um but i've pretty much run out of time to do christmas shopping so i think that will have to do thankfully we don't have too many people to buy for because most of the stuff is like most of our families in the uk and we've already sorted out presents for them so we're all good um now i have driven to the golf course jake's playing a round of golf with a couple of friends and i'm gonna gate crash for the drinks after as is jenna and her daughter and her mother um <laughs> the girls are descending um to ruin the fun so yeah should be nice i'm still feeling a little bit like i'm starting to feel a bit headachey again after my monster hangover yesterday so i'm fancying a big pint of diet coke some chips and i do i really 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 want some chicken tenders or breaded chicken of some sort um so pray for me that there's going to be some there and i'm excited to see lexi she's so cute <laughs> yeah, hello um i am back home now that was a very nice little outing um had a bit of food there and played with little lexi and yeah it was lovely um, i'm now going to wrap up some presents for them um that i managed to get from karen up which I'm excited to wrap them, especially I'm going to use the wax um, seals that we got for, for our wedding invitations. I'm going to seal everything with those. It's going to be very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful 35-ish degree day today. Got my coffee and a chocolate because it's very Christmassy here. Not, <laughs> does not feel like Christmas at all. Hello team. We are going to the beach after work, which is the first time that I've ever actually got around to doing this. I've said for a year and a half that I would go to the beach after work because I work in Fremantle. Sorry, we got distracted by a restaurant that's being renovated. Um, yeah, we saying for ages that we will go for a dip after work and never have but it's been a 35 degree day today so it's gonna be bloody beautiful sleepy Catherine thank you so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it um, next week is actual real life Christmas so when I pick up with you again tomorrow or oh my god tomorrow is Thursday oh my god I will talk you through how actual Christmas is looking for us uh, obviously being away from family um, it's our third one of it just being us two i think not in a row but yeah so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you next week bye oh my god and have a great christmas because it will have been christmas in the time that you've been watching this have a great one i hope santa brings you all the good presents bye